for watching TV on TV, where it would appear everything has been reduced to a vibrational form. You know how emotional Perry Logan is, and these phantasmagoric forms that you're looking at will express the maelstrom of Perry Logan's emotions as he worries that a soi disant Democratic president, Barack Obama, declared the right to shoot any American or any person anywhere for reasons of his own. In other words, any reason. All you gotta do is make an accusation and shoot him in the head. Now, if you are condemning this, my friends, you are morally insufficient. My friends, it is now officially immoral to support Barack Obama. I really, really regret it, okay? But keep in mind, you're listening to Perry Logan, and Perry Logan is number one. Who is number one? Perry Logan is number one. Who is number one? Perry Logan is number one. No, 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 no. Oh, what do I do? Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. What do I have to do to get you to listen to me? Having a phone call, excuse me. No, the original inspiration for the Perry Logan show was that I, Perry Logan, wanted to do, uh, I wanted to act as weird as the right wingers act. This is true, you know. The whole origin of this show is that I, Perry Logan, noticed that the right were having all the fun. Excuse me. The right were having all the fun. Phone call. I forgot I was doing a phone call. The right were having all the fun and acting like, well, fools, shall I say? And uh, it just seemed like the weirder they got, the more popular they were. Meanwhile, Lefties, as is their want, were being just as sober and cool and reasonable and dull as possible. Yay! I'm a lefty, I love my fellow lefties, but let's face it, it can be hard to listen to lefties. Yeah, I covered my mouth, suggesting I said a bad the thing. The whole idea of the Perry Logan show many years ago, when it began, was that I was going to be a left winger who acted as crazy as a right winger. Oh, I shot you, didn't I? I'm sorry, I shot you. It serves you right for using a cell phone because you see, cell phones rot your brain. They're not talking about it, but cell phones rot your brain. Here, watch. Here's an artist's conception of a cell phone rotting your brain. Cell phones, they rot your brains, hey, hey, hey. Hi, this is Perry Logan, Logan reminding you that because some, some people are making a whole hell of a lot of money on cell phones, phones no one's telling you that cell phones fry your brain. brain. Hey, use a headset. Cell phones fry your brain. I strongly advise you to use a headset because you see, cell phones fry your brain. And I'm sorry I shot you. Hey, let's watch some TV, okay? Hi, you're watching TV. Well, I know you were already watching TV, uh, and now you're watching like TV within TV. 
I don't know why. And now, the Perry Logan TV on TV band plays Moral Rock. 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 rock. No wonder Perry says the glass is not only not half empty, there isn't even a glass. My friends, the economic disparity that has launched the Wall Street occupation movement is nothing compared to the massive moral rot which besieges our government, both Democrats and Republicans, both federal and local. It infects the police departments. It infects the mayor's office of city after city where they don't understand that people have the right in these United States to peaceably protest and there ain't no permits needed for that. But my friends, I regret to say the moral rot goes up to the top to a president we all love, but who must be called the worst Democrat ever. You are watching TV on TV on TV. And here's Perry Logan with an idiot's guide to international law. Yay! Uh, reality can be so harsh, can't it? And I hate to break it to you, but our beloved president, Barack Obama, has recently killed a couple of American citizens at his whim. Did you hear that? It may be hard because we're watching within layer after layer of TV in a kind of a meta show. A kind of a meta Perry Logan show. <laughs> okay, nevertheless, uh, the truth is the truth. You see, our beloved President Barack Obama has achieved a kind of a moral rot milestone. Hey, I love the guy, but there is just no two ways about it that he has achieved a new milestone of ignominy, executive impunity, authoritarianism. Hey, think of some names. I wish you would just calm down and think of the names we might call loving names, but what would you call the policy of killing an American because the president, well, just wants to? That's all there is to it. That is, my friends, the naked truth. That's why, that's why we had to go all the way in here to TV on TV on TV to let you know, my friends, just this all went down recently Obama is going around he's just sending people out to kill people no trial no evidence no due process is this heinous and the fact that he's a Democrat has neutralized most of the moral outrage on the left which we would most certainly be seeing if George W. Bush had tried the same thing. Yeah. It's almost as if my fellow lefties, uh, the ones who, who are going along with Obama's foreign policy of killing people, this is what I'm saying. That's a new low, my friends. If you are not morally outraged, if you are not inwardly howling with the moral outrage, which in my opinion goes even beyond the economic disparity and unfairness which has motivated the Wall Street occupation. A righteous movement to be sure, but hanging over it is the utter corruption of our government where a president, an alleged Democrat, now just goes out there and kills people. Don't you get it? Don't you see? Hey, think back to World War II. I hereby send you back to World War II. You've got it coming. Whoa! 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 Oh, 
Is there any doubt that if our beloved President Barack Obama had been president at the end of World War II, go with me? There would have been no Nuremberg trials. Do you realize why? Because, because the, the generals, generals who were tried, who were tried at, Nuremberg at Nuremberg would have been, been shot, shot in the back, back of the head, head, head and dropped and in the ocean, the ocean Obama, Obama style. style. Good God, what world rock! And now, Austin's beloved Perry Logan sings, Good God, What More Rock. My God, what moral rot when the President of the United States, a Swadeson Democrat, a guy we love but you see, has achieved a new low and neutralized the opposition of the left. That's why this might be in some way strange for you to hear, but you see, many lefties like myself are in a state of massive moral outrage because Obama is supposedly a Democrat. He is just, I'm sorry, it's pretty simple. He is going around the world killing people uh, at his whim. And it is no exaggeration to say that if this had been the technique applied after World War II, there would have been no Nuremberg trials, you see, because the judges would have been shot in the back of the head and dropped into the ocean. Obama style. Hey, hey, tell me that if Bush Cheney had said they had the right to kill an American citizen of any age anywhere in the world because they wanted to, no trial, no proof, uh, no charges, just because the president wants, my friends, I cannot emphasize too strongly what a moral rot this represents. With our good friend Barack Obama at the center of it, who would have thought? <laughs> oh, I would have thought. I would have thought. You see, if I might. I knew we were screwed during the 2008 Democratic primaries. I, Perry Logan, knew we were screwed during the primaries when the favorite tactic of the Obama people was to call their fellow Democrats racists. Oh my God! Perry remembers this quite clearly. Perry was there and will not hear otherwise. The favorite tactic of Obama's supporters during the 2008 Democratic primaries was to call their fellow Democrats racists. Perry knew right there and then the Democrats were screwed. I knew right there and then the Democrats were screwed. In case you don't know, Obama won the nomination partly by smearing the Clintons as racists. If I didn't know better, I'd call that party trees. Hey, if I weren't so nice, so painfully nice, I would say that's party treason. Some of Obama's supporters dragged out old right-wing smears against the Clintons. This was to win a nomination. You see? Yeah. Now that was the beginning of the moral rot, which has led to a Democrat who thinks he can kill you and me anywhere we are, for whatever reason, pops into his head. Yeah. And you see, the deuce of it is, Obama, our good friend, has bequeathed this power to the next Republican president.
Okay, okay. Hey, this is getting too serious. Let's watch some TV, okay? Hi, you're watching TV on TV on TV on TV, where we are jamming. TV is on TV. And now that you've made it this far, this many layers in, uh, I think I can level with you and say that I'm pretty worried about my fellow Democrats who are still supporting Obama. Hey, this is about Obama's politics and not about Obama the man, but I understand these things are not totally separable. But all, I, all I'm thinking is if George W. Bush had just kind of said he had the right. Think about this, man. Said a president said he had the right to kill pretty much any American, you or me, anywhere. And for reasons which are utterly up to the president's discretion. Now that, my friends, of course, did not happen under George W. Bush. Now, what would happen? What would the left be saying? What would Democrats be saying? If Bush or Cheney or any f a person on the right uh, ha had said they had this right, wow, what an irrigation of power. What a ridiculous power grab. And, but you see, what's going on is, uh, the this, this scary part for me, is that the left has been kind of neutralized, my friends. The president killing people at his discretion, citizens or not, that's fascism. And if George W. Bush had done it, they would have called it fascism. And if Rick Perry uh, were proposing it, or, or Mitt Romney were proposing it, uh, Democrats would be calling it fascism because, you see, that's what it is. It's so bad. This way of doing things is so awful, so horribly unlawful, extra-constitutional, scrofulous, if you will. I'm sorry. The policy is scrofulous. What an incredible power to give a president. That's not what the U.S. is about. Earth calling Democrats. Hey, get your moral bearings, man. It is just not okay for any president to kill someone. I, and he, he doesn't have to prove it, he doesn't have to have a trial. Do you realize this approach would have completely negated the Nuremberg trials? Because our proto-Obama, our proto-Obama president would have shot the generals who were tried at Nuremberg in the back of the head and dumped them into the sea. My friends, this is a crisis even bigger than the economic inequity which is driving the Wall Street occupation, okay? We got some serious cleaning up to do. And I don't see how the Democrats could have gone any more bad. All you have to do is think about, you know, even if this is okay with you, don't you understand the next Republican president probably taking office in 2012? The next, pro you know, loony, I did that again. A loony Republican president uh, will have this dictatorial power, this fascist power. And now me and the band are going to play a number called This Fascist Power. Put on your crash helmets. This is intense.
Hey, that was great. Uh, uh, let's watch some TV, okay? Uh, uh, we killed our cameraman, so I'm gonna have to do this myself. Are you on drugs? Well, whatever. You are watching TV on TV on TV on TV on TV on TV on TV. On TV. My friends, am I Perry Logan, the only person in the United States who is seriously worried that a president has said he can kill anyone anytime at his whim? Isn't this kind of weird? Isn't this indicative of severe moral rot. And coming from a Democrat, that's just embarrassing. Everything goes into that book, even here on TV on TV on TV on TV on TV. I don't know how far down we are. Can you even see me? Hey, can you see me? I'm sorry. This is a Perry Logan show where we're going in deeper and deeper into the moral rot. I hate to sound like Hamlet, but we're in a state of moral rot, in my opinion. And the thing that hurts most is not that a Democratic president went bad and just kind of like one-upped the neocons, that was Obama, but that my fellow Democrats, and so, so many, of my fellow Democrats fail to realize that it is now immoral to support Barack Obama. Hear ye, hear ye, people of the United States. On October 27th, 2011, it is hereby officially immoral to support Barack Obama, if only because he has declared the right to kill any American at his whim. In all seriousness, that's what I think, that it is now officially, you know, I know it's not for me to say, but I would uh, judge it too big, officially immoral to support this president. In other words, vote for the progressive third party of your choice. Join Occupy Wall Street. Do anything but vote for this party, and I must say, I am very disappointed in many I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very disappointed here on TV, on TV, on TV, on TV, on TV, on TV, on Sorry. Well, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about Occupy Wall Street, and I think it's the real thing, and I do think it's unstoppable. That's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is uh, I'm, I'm not even sure the, the good people of the Occupy Wall Street movement are fully aware of the, uh, you know, in a way, a more profound problem, even more profound than the economic mess and, and disparity and, and unfairness that we live in. It's a more profound problem, you see, that our president has uh, arrogated to himself dictatorial powers, and it was a Democrat. It's like, just drives me nuts. Okay, so a Democrat went bad, but what was worse was that so many of my fellow Democrats are not criticizing Obama. This has been going on the entire tenure, that Obama has been, in my opinion, acting pretty much like a neocon with like a little rubber mask of a Democrat over it. It is my considered opinion that Obama is a neocon posing as a centrist Democrat. This explains everything. Think about it. I said, how much worse? Okay, but how much worse is it that so many Democrats are, they're just not saying what they would be saying if any Republican had done or proposed this just heinous atrocity. It's like a, it's a political atrocity. How, how more lawless, how more authoritarian can you get than say, well, we are going to handle our problems by shooting them in the back of the head and dumping them in the sea? Do I have to tell Democrats one doesn't do this? Has the Democratic Party lost its moral compass? I don't know. 
Now, it's heavy, it's heavy, you know. It makes me glad there is at least a movement in the right direction going on, well, Occupy Wall Street. But there's this whole, like, black hole uh, going on here, a moral black hole, and the, my lefties are, well, you know, some of them are rising to the occasion and condemning it, and most of them aren't. So you see me in a very turbulent emotional state. Aww. So let's watch some TV, okay? Our cameraman is in a state of rigor mortis, so we'll do it this way.